Alrighty, so you are saying you made body and head movement more noticeable. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. Just watch out that when you have him do this, now it feels like you're you're leaning forward with the chest, but then going backwards and, and countering with the head. It kind of all stops at the same time. And then his move to the left here is on a linear key, so it feels like he's being pushed by the door. So I would have that lean forward, not as much lean back, <clears throat> and this slight translate forward so that through all this time he's going forward, going forward, going forward, and a bit more of a subtle move through there. That way you can make this all one big move, and then he just gets closed in his face here. But so that way you don't have this weird move stop and then move stop again here. Just a bit. This feels very, very separated. And then the root doesn't really do anything. It seems like everything is kind of pivoting off of there without really moving, which feels a bit unnatural. <clears throat> For her, this is a bit soft, just how slowly this wrist goes down. It feels like a very drifty move. Same with her hand. It's almost too straight. Also, it feels like it's an IK arm. A bit too soft. Just some texture. You want some texture where she might be there, lower it, pause a bit here, go back down. Just a bit more natural. And you know, there might be some hesitation in there. Even through here, that section feels a bit too straight and a bit too slow. And I know I'm giving you a hard time all the time with this turn, but it, there's still. You can look at how far back the back. <laughs> is like now it's profile and the head is profile versus the back being at least here and the head is profile you really want to turn his head so much more and first and then the chest continues like you're still especially through here through this turn it feels like all of our arms chest and the head is one piece it's one piece that just kind of rotates as one stiff piece that's not quite working there that's all cool <sighs> like all that why is it so hard to find a good man this is better um you're mentioning that it might float a bit and it does why is it so hard? so the couple things also just from a technical thing that those pieces here their hand they could come down as ik arms you can see that break and that wrist gets bigger bigger and bigger um, i would rotate that wrist down a bit but just give it some texture where he might you know it might fall the contour of her chest to something that feels very very straight in ik is it so hard to find a good man? I think there's some good stuff in your head, though. It's super, super subtle. So I would take your subtleties here and scale, scale up in a bananas way. Just go really big so we can see, okay, which accents work. And then you can scale it back down. But right now, it's so minimal. It's such a minimal change. Um, and watch out for your many lights. This is the way highlight makes it look like she's looking this way. This eye looks this way. It's a bit too wall-eyed at this point. <clears throat> Even here, I think you can bring in that that eye a bit more screen right. This feels better. To find a good man. This weirdly feels too weird where you have so much white and white and then there's nothing here. So it's slightly cross-eyed while going this way. Gotta work with your eyes a bit more. <sighs> Although I would have to say through here it's also a bit straight. Bit tricky you might want to rotate your wrists up a tiny bit it just feels like that these two arms are kind of doing the same thing and they're really locked together so some asymmetry would be good in there and just some changes definitely closer so definitely better with the head this is so hard to find a good man but just a bit timid <sighs> Uh, and then for this guy, I was a bit confused. You're mentioning frame 250, should I just have her keep looking left? But frame 250, she is looking left. Um, overall, it's a bit slow, but I like it, I have to say. Not the slowness, but the overall shot. That's a massive catch, by the way. Holy moly. Like all this is kind of... Not that you want, want her to be crazy but it's something where she can open up i don't know what's going on whoa make this a bit like that like that speed a bit more panicked just a bit more and then you can slow down again David. and this maybe i will bring up the legs a bit so they're a bit less comfortable 
not that my drawings help, but this feels a bit too nicely posed, too comfortable. You know, she's kind of worried. So it could be like, oh, I'm waking up and like, wait, all oh, right, I'm back here and he's missing. What the hell? And that way you can speed this up here. And then she calls so that she'll be slower so she can listen to something and then get into this. That's a bit more comfortable. Realize, oh, fuck, he's gone. I don't know what happened. And I like to lean back. I think that's fine. But you are in a very straight, broken pose. I don't know. There's something that could be just pose-wise where, you know, you can relax maybe that leg. That leg doesn't really move. So relax that leg a bit more. Um, she could still be in a, in a bigger curve. You get a bit more asymmetry in there. And then this I would speed up again. Like she's like, oh man. And then the phone, like, oh, that must be him. Get back to it sooner. And then for this, change the arm, take that leg down, hunch her over. You know, maybe she could be like this, hold it with both hands. You know, uh, you know if that makes sense. Like she's, it's just a change of pose because now she thinks it's him and there's a bigger emotional reaction. And right now this feels weirdly... I know there's something that's just straight, broken here, and same here. She doesn't feel as concerned. I know I would, to me it feels like you want to push the concern aspect. So after all of this, when she gets to this, like a, a bigger post change. But that's just me. But again, I, like you said, it's a new shot. I haven't seen it before. That's just my um, initial reaction. Also, I know it sounds weird, but I would scale that couch down. At least have that that. Um, What's it called? The armrest there. Only because it boxes her in more and makes her feel more uncomfortable. This is way too comfy. Like a big ginormous couch. It feels, it feels like a little midget in there. This feels kind of weird. So to me, it feels like you can almost, if you add this and make it smaller, it, will, it makes it more uncomfortable for her and for the audience. Something feels subconsciously more uncomfortable, I would assume. And it would help the shot. I don't know. That's just me. All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.